Okay, so I ordered this snare drum. It should be a 10 inch popcorn snare. Let's see what we got in here. Got a bunch of packing. There's a box inside the box. Awesome. So, get into this box. We got a packing slip. Looks like there should be a snare drum in here. We got a this thing, whatever that is. I got a one year warranty. And I've got a snare drum. And it comes with a drum key. It's pretty convenient in case I didn't have one. So you pull it out of the plastic and there you go. So it's supposed to be, I guess, 10 by 6, 10 by 5. I don't know. And it's um, a poplar shell, I guess, with this sort of zebra coating uh, wrap, I guess. Um, so I guess it's a griffin. And we'll see what it sounds like right out of the box. Pretty horrible. All right, here we have the uh, badge. And you can see there's even a little sticker here that says Made in China. So this is you know, not a very high quality instrument. I've gotten it tuned up and um, adjusted the best I could uh, with just whatever came in the box. So we'll check it out here um, with a microphone, what it actually sounds like. Okay, so you can hear it doesn't sound too bad. I have this little piece of tape on here. Um, they sent that big foam rectangle that I kind of showed you when it came out of the box. And I didn't think that was necessary, but I don't like a really dry drum. Uh, some people do, so you might want to do that. But it seems like they knew that would be the case, so they included that on purpose. Um, basically, it seems like a pretty good drum. For like 40 bucks, you can't really go wrong. Uh, like I said, I think it's a poplar shell. The parts they skimped out on, um, these snare wires you can kind of see are not super even through here um, and they kind of buzz a little bit no matter how tight you tighten them. Part of that might be the strainer, I don't know. Um, this isn't the highest quality strainer. It catches kind of, like it opens or you know releases pretty easily but it catches on the way back closed um, right in this range feels pretty gross to do. And this little pin right here looks very, very low quality and like it sort of might just fall out of there at any time. So if you were to play this as a serious instrument, you'd want to uh, get a new strainer and new snare wires and of course new heads. This is sort of like a coated ambassador. This is probably like a snare side ambassador, but you know, I don't really know. I'm not sure what they are. Um, you can get this in a variety of wraps. I just picked the zebra wood. I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, but you can sort of get it to look like anything, and it doesn't look like too bad of a drum, honestly. It has snare beds in the lower bearing edge, the upper bearing edge feels reasonably um, consistent, the drum seems like it's round. So again, for the price, not bad. I don't know if I'd play this as a terribly serious instrument, um, but I'm really going to just let my daughter hit it. So for that, I'm actually really impressed at how cheap this was.